Hey everyone, Miss Dempsey here. This is a guide for round 3 of the Manufacturer Series. Let's get this started. For this first turn, you want to start to break right when you reach the 100 meter sign. Break as much as you can, slowly ease off on the brakes, and when you hit the apex, slowly apply the throttle. Use this pole with the phone sign on the left as your turning point, and all you need to do is just ease off on the throttle and be patient with applying more throttle as you do not want to hit the wall on the left. Be nice and gentle as you go through these turns to minimize any loss of speed. Bring yourself to the right and then start to brake before you reach the 50 meter sign. You'll use a quick burst of braking, then use some throttle and when you hit the apex that is when you can start to fully accelerate. Try not to steer too much over here so you don't end up understeering into the wall. Use this bridge as your turning point. Take this turn at full throttle. Then use the 50 meter sign as your turning point. Ease off on the throttle until you hit the apex. Bring yourself to the left and then start to brake right before you reach the 50 meter sign. You'll brake as much as you can. Bring yourself to the right because the moment you finish with this turn, you'll immediately start turning left and you will be going through this turn at full throttle. For this final turn, brake right after you pass the highway sign that is above the track. So you'll brake as much as you can, hit the first apex, and if you slow down enough, you can let the car cruise for a short moment of time, hit the second apex, and immediately start to accelerate. Gently make this left turn, and that is pretty much it for this lap guide. Let's go ahead and quickly talk about the strategies. For this race, it's pretty much an all-out sprint, so you don't have to worry about tires and fuel. Don't worry about going to the pit stop. When it comes to the tires, they start to get a little bit sketchy at around lap 9 and on. But other than that, you don't have to change your driving habits too much. On some of the higher speed turns, you might need to just ease up on the throttle for a bit longer. But other than that, it's nothing too crazy. But since we are here on East Outer Loop, you have this massive long straight. So you want to definitely find someone that you want to get slipstream out of as even just going through part of it before you end up passing them will shave off a noticeable amount of time. If you're able to get someone to slipstream from, from the final turn to the first turn, and then do it again as you finish your lap, you'll notice a huge amount of time shaved off. So for example, here I'm getting 207.4 as my best time, but that's because I have no one to slipstream from since I'm doing this in a custom race. But if you're in a lobby race, you can easily get into the 206 territory if you're finding someone to slipstream from. So yeah, so this will become really useful when you're in qualifying. And as for the actual race, just work with each other to try to get away from groups behind you and to catch up to the groups ahead of you. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this guide. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. So this is Mr. MCA. Wishing you a good race and I'll see you in the next video.